Hello everyone. Welcome back to another intriguing episode from the intellect. A modern jet engine gallops a serious amount of air in just one second. This creates an exhaust with an acoustic intensity in the range of 140 decibels, just brushing the ceiling of the permanent hearing loss region. With that said, noise becomes the main hindrance to open air ground runs. When a jet engine needs a thorough look, engineers take it to an interesting place, the hush house or technically the aviation engine test facility. Despite what its name suggests, the hush house isn't quite as everyone thinks. It can be noisy, as it's the place where those thunderous powerhouses are pushed to their limits, but the hush house makes sure every bit of engine roar is meticulously contained. Usually, a hush house has engine run-up areas that are made up of noise-absorbent walls. They contain noise within the run-up chamber itself, thus not making the surrounding area noisy. A hush house facilitates both in-frame and out-of-frame engine testing. Depending on the requirement, engines are not removed from the aircraft to minimize downtime. Engines are mounted on a thrust frame that holds the engine while it's running. During out-of-frame testing, a fuel cart positioned outside the hush house provides fuel to the engine. Aerospace propulsion technicians hold the responsibility of undertaking pre-run and post-run inspections of the engines in the hush house. Tesla is basically the last line of quality assurance between an engine that might fail out on the flight line and cause damage to the jet or risk mission or pilot's life and a perfectly running engine. It's test cell's job to be able to run the engine through every single possible existing parameter to make sure it's working exactly as it's supposed to. With the traction gained for engine health monitoring, engine test facilities have become a staple player within the industry. Usually, engine manufacturers use the hush house for their research and development efforts, while operational engines visit the hush house for intermediate level maintenance. The availability of onboard health monitoring systems has made it easy for the technicians to gather information. The F100 PW2229 engine that powers the F16 has an engine monitoring system or EMS like all the other advanced fighters. The EMS is made up of the Digital Electronic Engine Control DEEC and the Engine Diagnostic Unit EDU. While the DEEC serves as the heart of the entire engine, the EDU acts as the heart of the engine monitoring system as it acquires engine data from the DEEC and other sensors for monitoring purposes. These two are integral to the engine, while the other component of the EMS is the Comprehensive Engine Diagnostic Set CEDS, which is used as the interface between the other two components to communicate. The data downloaded to the CEDS is then fed to software that analyzes it for future use and better predictions. With the emergence of single-engine fighters and the current strategic spending skies, reliability has become pivotal. To improve reliability, engine monitoring systems are at the forefront. To make this pursuit fruitful, hush houses become the perfect ground for putting these engines to the test. My favorite part, everyone's gonna say running the engine, that's the favorite part. Especially if you know it's an engine that came in with a ton of problems and you bring it down here and it doesn't, it doesn't work the first time or the second time and you keep working on it, keep working on it until eventually it starts up and it fires off and you get that nice flame in the back. That, that's the best feeling ever. Man. And that's a wrap for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this episode and there are more videos coming, so consider subscribing to The Intellect. See you next time.